Good morning everybody, Matt here on the planet. Uh, today I'm heading down the quayside for another 40 kilometer long run. Um, just done 2k shake out at home, so just easy and steady away. And that leaves us with 38 kilometers to do down on the quayside. So three times 10, basically what I do every couple of weeks. Um, just putting that marathon goal pace effort into the long run. Um, nothing special for, for what we're doing, but we, we, we're coming to the end of the training block. This is basically our last, um, the last big run of the training block before we go into like a, a cool down week. Um, and obviously next week I'll be doing a video on how things have gone in the training. Um, looking at all the details and all the numbers and stuff like that. So it's been very good, it's been progressing well. But I'll go through all that information in the next video, but first to do it in the long run. Today's around long run, a little bit different from normal. Um, I'll be using energy gels, but a different form. Um, I don't know if you've seen these on the market before, but uh, you've probably seen them in the supermarket. So I'm taking them out and put them into uh, little pouches like that, into uh, Ziploc bags. Um, and the reason why I'm trying it is because there's actually Per gram, there's actually a third extra energy in these, but it just comes down to whether you know whether whether the, you can get them into your body fast enough. I think you probably can do it. Obviously, a lot of brands, have, especially of late, have been bringing out chew formats, even with the more and stuff that chews or bars, you know, stuff that stuff that are, uh, are more solid if people prefer kind of more solid fuels. So, um, I mean, generally these are kind of like more more pure sugar. There's no melted extra in them, which is quite obviously quite a good thing. Um, but we're just going to give them a go today and see what they're like uh, I'll let you know after so I've just mixed up three bags of three bags of sweet there I do have a couple of gels with me just in case it all goes wrong um, got the classic Morton um, and a couple of precision gels just, but the plan is that I won't take them today we'll just see how it goes and obviously, obviously in those sweets there's no, uh, there's no caffeine in them so I've actually got a little espresso of coffee there so I'll be having that uh, a little bit just at the start and I'll be having that at, uh, a little bit of the way through the run as well just to keep me up on the caffeine in the run because uh, I used to take a couple of caffeine gels. Right, okay, that's it. So let's get down to the quayside. Uh, we'll go for the 40k long run and I'll let you know how the new gels are. Whoa, just starting it off now. Chilly this morning. Things are going to be nice and, well, nice and warm later on, but for now, just chilly it's gonna be a blue sky but it's gonna be windy the winds are gonna pick up as we get through it so i really wanted to start a good half an hour early but uh, trying to avoid as much wind as i can but it is what it is uh, let's go running shoot today a bit flying percent two white pair i think this is the first pair of the uh next percent two i ever was I just haven't used them that much because uh, we kept them for racing most of the time. Right, let's crack on. Perfect morning. Oh, for a second there, it was, it was silent. There was no cars in. The cars coming back. But that's okay. Gotta share the roads. So, combo one. Here we go.
to myself. <laughs> I'm seeing anybody on this stretch. In the case I guess. Ooh. I think it's only about 7 a.m. or something. Hopefully morning though. Especially when the wind's behind you. So that's the first stint done and uh, what are we about 4.32ish or something like that so I've recorded the, uh, the run on the wrong setting so I'm going to have to swap them over uh, on one watch anyway so I'm going to back to, back to the car and I'm going to switch it over to the other setting uh, but yeah first stint was really good considering the first two kilometers are right into the wind and then the last one kilometer is into the wind um, and to be fair the wind kind of a bit all over as well so not really getting a proper, proper tailwind today um, it seems to be gradually picking up I think we're going to finish at about 17 mile an hour winds is what the report's saying uh, it's about 10 at the moment it's what the report's saying so, but we'll just do what we can uh, try to eat these Haribo Jettles should we call them Haribos uh, is a nightmare <laughs> I actually first stint which you'll see in the clip off um, I tried to eat one Haribo uh, eat, sorry, eat, eat, put them all in my mouth, tried to eat them, I ended up accidentally swallowing a full jelly baby. Hell, but once, unfortunately, went down okay, and uh, didn't choke me, but it's quite challenging, and it took me about a minute to eat the rest of them, so uh, it's quite tough. Uh, energy wise, I'm feeling good, I'm only at the start, of it, but uh, yeah, right. But now we're on the easy bit, now I can uh, well, kind of steady bit, steady two kilometers or so. I can uh, finish off, finish off this this way. Anyway, right. So there it is, uh, uh, that's the run done, uh, whew, that was hard work and it was easy work as well, <laughs> that was funny, so yeah today, uh, what was it all about, 40 kilometres, 40 kilometres uh, with 3 times 10 k at marathon goal pace, um, what was different today was I was running on the Haribos. Haribo, every kid's little dream, eh? Haribo, Haribo. Um, and uh, so three three stints here. Yeah. The first 10K, um, took some of these a bit more sugary ones, had these at the start. Uh, those ones there, uh, I think they're called uh, Tangy Fastics. Um, and they're the ones with gold bears and then the kind of like the jelly babies and they're the ones that I took on the run. Um, for first in I thought I was a bit sluggish. Um the pace was reasonably alright, but it was hard work. And the second stint I was I was a bit slower and I was finding that the jelly babies and the Harry Balls weren't really kicking in. Um and the taste, like the sweet taste stays in your mouth like really long afterwards. Um and it's obviously quite sticky as well and it takes it takes bloody ages to, to get them down as you um as you might have seen in the video. You're chewing away, you're trying to breathe 
trying to run fast you try all, all you know you're 100 focus 100 capacity on on doing the normal running stuff but you're having to actually like chew when in, in you know your jaw starts aching and <laughs> stuff like that so uh i won't be using arrow again um second stint i used it third stint i just couldn't face it couldn't face sticking another um some more of these and carrying them around and i actually switched over back over to the to the morton gel and uh and the precision one um and instantly felt the difference in in, in the performance like i say within within about 10 minutes of taking it start that second rep um first the winds really picked up towards the end so the first two kilometers are right into the window it's kind of like kind of crosswind a bit but uh, i was really struggling to get the pace down but by the, by the end of that turn around start coming the other way and drop that gel in um and getting up at like 38 39 40 kilometers in that in that long run and i was hitting like um for 27 minutes per kilometer for uh, 430 for faster than that the averages will come out as well i'm not sure exactly what the average is for that for that left wrap but it's a really good test actually i think i'd uh had a bit of an epiphany after the on the second rep that you know what wouldn't this be a good test to switch out the harry ball that i'm struggling with for proper gels and see if it actually makes any difference and there's maybe if it, the last eight kilometers of that rep um were probably the fastest third rep that i've ever done i'm guessing i might be wrong on that but i need to have a look at the numbers but that was pretty fast and definitely the last few kilometers to be up at like marathon goal pace or slightly faster than marathon goal pace right at the very end of the, of the run is uh, you know really impressive for me I'm, I'm really happy with that so like i said we've got a lot of good data to go through um i've done probably eight to nine of these runs probably eight or nine of the track sessions it's probably more obvious to see how well i've been progressing at the track than they have in these uh long run marathon stints but next video out we're going to go through all that and review it so um yeah uh i don't want to say any more apart from um if you want a cheap long run do it on harry bow probably cost you about three pounds two or three pounds um if you want to actually perform any long run don't do it spend your spend your 12 to 18 pounds on your your morton or your cyst gels or whatever gels you use they are so much better than uh the haribo sweets and treats um hi yeah so that's it for today thanks very much for watching please like comment subscribe next video i'll be telling you also which marathon we're going to race um coming into this uh kind of autumn winter period uh we're switching over to the part b now uh, but for the next week, in terms of my running, I'm taking a week off, doing some very light stuff. You'll see how that's that's very interesting as well, what I'm going to be doing in my cutback week. Um, so there'll be a video on that as well. But uh, yeah, so loads of stuff to come up. Great North Run, Manchester, Autumn Marathon, um, great results in the training. Um, you know, it's all, it's all to come in the coming weeks. Thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Jaws aching as well. I'm trying to eat as fast as I can. It's cheaper. Alright, three bags of Haribo is about four pounds. But the equivalent in gels is about sort of to the gels, to six gels, the same weight. About three pounds. Whereas six gels. For example, six Morton gels cost you 18 pounds. Oh, this is hard work. Don't make breathing very easy either. Tastes nicer than gels though. <laughs> That's about the only positive. I'm taking, it's taking that long to eat these. I'm just getting sick of it. <laughs> right, let's crack on. We have two. Here we go. Woo!